Now, because I'm not an average tourist, I have come here to the remote town of Zwiesel. And there's a few things for the tourists to see, if you ever do make it this far, but the most fascinating is the one right under my feet. I'm in the middle of the Bavarian Forest, a thickly wooded range of hills that actually forms part of the Bohemian Forest. The little town of Zwiesel is situated at the confluence of two small rivers and was first mentioned in the year 1255. Unsurprisingly, given all the trees around here, timber was an important industry and wood harvested here could be floated down the river to Regensburg. Later though, the area became known for mining, yielding among other things alum, iron ore, vitriol and quartz. And it was thanks to the abundance of quartz that Zwiesel became famous for the manufacture of glass, a fact that the town is visibly proud of. There is still a glass factory here, concentrating on high-end glassware for the hotel industry, and one of Zwiesel's main landmarks is the Glass Pyramid. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect much of it, but up close it's actually kind of spectacular. It's made of 93,665 wine glasses, and they are just stacked up on top of each other without any support. I'm pretty sure a small earthquake would be enough to bring the whole lot crashing down. Aside from that, Zwiesel is officially recognised as a health resort due to the purity of its air, matched, as far as I can tell, by the purity of its water. And it does also get to welcome a few tourists. The kind of tourism that uh, Zwiesel is most used to is hikers. And to be honest, I can see why. I wouldn't rate this a, a difficult walk at all, but um, I do think that it um, falls into the category of don't do this if you're not used to walking in the countryside. Okay, so my, oh, my phone insists that this is the right way, but I'm, I'm beginning to have my doubts. Uh, where the... Yeah. Oh. Okay, I can't really do I can't really do this one-handed. I think I'm going to have to turn the camera off. Ah. Yes. <laughs> this is it. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, so I only came up all the way here just to get a sort of an establishing shot of the town of Zwiesel. Um but hats off to Zwiesel. It definitely didn't disappoint. But of course, what I came here for isn't up in the hills, it's underground. Zwiesel boasts a series of underground passages, and although only a fraction of these still survive, it's enough to be an actual tourist attraction. I met up with one of the guides, Fred Bayel. I make here in Zwiesel Führungen in the unterirdischen Gänge. I tell you about the Erdstelle and Schreiflöcher. This is seit vielen Jahren my großes Hobby. Und ja, ich war in verschiedenen Ländern diesbezüglich und mache halt hier die Führungen. Well, it's more than just a hobby. Herr Bayer has spent decades researching one of Europe's most enduring mysteries. But first, we need to clarify something. There are two different types of underground passage here. Also, die unterirdischen Gänge von Zwiesel sind Kellerräume, die ab dem 16. Jahrhundert hier belegt sind in diesen Kellerräumen aufgegangen, teilweise noch rudimentär sichtbar, sind Erdstahlfragmente. Erdstelle sind ein Phänomen des Hochmittelalters. Sind also zwischen 900 und 1200 entstanden und nur in der Zeit nachzuweisen. Erdstahl is the technical term for a type of artificial cavern cut into rock. They can be found in many parts of Europe, including Bavaria, Austria, Czechia, the British Isles, Spain and France. Some of them are whole systems of interconnected tunnels, but they all have one bizarre feature in common. The only way in or out is through a very narrow passage that a human would have to crawl through. 
In this case, the Edgestahl leads on to a later system of interconnected cellars, which could have been used for storage or as escape routes. After all, Zwiesel's history has been quite violent, with wars and invasions commonplace. These passages tended to come to a dead end, however, at the main street, so couldn't have been used to get from one side of town to the other. The much older Erdstahl, though, is a complete mystery, as are all of them. As escape routes, hiding places, or even storage facilities, they would have been completely useless. Several explanations have been suggested, but when I asked Herr Beil which of them he found the most convincing, he answered simply, none of them. Weltweit weiß niemand, wofür die Erdstelle waren. Erdstelle geben keinen Sinn. There may or may not be a connection with some kind of religious rite, but the impression that I got was that everybody is just guessing. And perhaps it's this mystery that keeps the visitors coming. Unsere Führungen sind meist ausgebucht. Wir haben an manchen Tagen zwei oder sogar drei Führungen. Ich habe mittlerweile, denke ich, an die 20.000 Leute durch die Gänge geführt. Now, I wish I could report that Zwiesel was a thriving little town, but the truth is, it isn't. It's always been remote, but its population is now rapidly shrinking, and visibly so. While I had Herr Beil on camera, I asked him what he made of it. Ja, das ist unübersehbar. Zwiesel haben wir sehr viel Leerstand. Wessen das geschuldet ist, ist eine Frage, die nicht leicht zu beantworten ist. Einmal der demografische Wandel, demografische Wandel äh, schlechthin. Zum anderen Internethandel. Wir haben jetzt eine neue Stadt überhaupt. Bleibt zu wünschen, dass der erfolgreich ist und etwas bewirken kann. Now, the new mayor, it should be pointed out, was elected two years after the suspension of his predecessor amid a fairly sensational local scandal. So there is actually good reason to hope that a new mayor will make a difference. Meanwhile, it's still a nice place to visit if you're into hiking, glass blowing, or mysterious underground caverns. Zwiesel can be reached by train. There is an RB train every hour from Plattling, bound for Bayerisch Eisenstein. A one-hour tour of a fragment of the underground passages is offered Monday to Saturday, but you'll need to book in advance at the tourist information office. Unfortunately, the tour is not remotely wheelchair accessible. The Erdstahl is at a constant temperature of 10 degrees Celsius, so you may want to wear something with long sleeves, and also I found the condensation down there made some of the steps a bit slippery. Finally, many thanks to the Zwiesel Tourist Information Office for their help in making this video. So, uh, hats off to Zwiesel, this really didn't... This, blah, blah.